Hello everyone, it's Billy702 here and welcome back. I'm just giving you guys a quick little heads up that this episode is a bit of a shambles as I'm learning how to do the Elite Guild and all the Elite Mobs type thing. So yeah, it's a bit of a mess and doing little bits of quests and that. Just like this intro, it's a bit of a shambles. So yeah, if you want to watch it, you can watch it. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. That's pretty simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and you guys can watch the video if you really want to. So let's just skip in to the new episode 3. Hello everyone, it's Buddy702 here and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Smelt MC. As you can see, that's our lovely base up there, or was our lovely base. And I, since the last episode, I've managed to get myself an elytra through the voting crates. And I've also created a massive mess down here. It's probably not going to... there we go. So, yeah, it's a bit of a shambles through here. Just been using the bamboo here to create ourselves a little bit of income, really. And I've organised all our chests here, which, I'm going to admit, took a lot longer than I want to say. And to get this gear, I've managed to get ourselves at least some sort of gear set up so far. It's taken me a long time to get it done. And I'm slowly figuring out how all these custom enchants, I suppose you could call them, work out. It's all a work in progress since I'm more used to just the pure vanilla. But it's actually all interesting how they work and all the little interesting mobs in that as well. Because I've definitely been dying from them quite a bit. So there's a way to view my statistics on here. So my score is pretty dreadful because I'm pretty good at dying because connection i want to blame that it quite often lags out whenever i'm trying to fight things because it gets too yeah it just gets too much for the screen elite deaths 35 which that's yeah going up quite a bit i've killed a killed a few and i'm finally learning how it works you can't just stand up here and swipe and kill them because that just yeah doesn't give you any of the little treats from it so yeah it's been a work in progress tidying up everything and getting ready so today i was thinking we're not going to be working on a lovely iron farm might do that next time i thought we're going to give a go at doing some of the lovely quests and see if we can figure out how that there goes but first off let's see hopefully this has been producing some something if it's been working beautiful it's been producing some slowly I haven't expanded it, I've just been wasting too much time mucking around. So let's start off by figuring out how to do the quest. So let's pop over into the world where you do those there. Okay, this is pretty much 45 minutes of me running around having not a clue what I am doing. And yeah, I go into the Primus world and discover the quests are not working. And yeah, I pretty much missed the key thing of setting up the Adventure Guild. So I end up figuring out at spawn where to start this all and all a good learning curve. So we're going to go back in and start at spawn and you're about to see where I finally figure out how to get this stuff to work. It's a work in progress. I'm new to this type of stuff. Okay, we are back at the lovely spawn, so... Heard of any adventure guilds? Heard about the AG? Oh, adventure guild. Oh, yep. Oh, that's great. You can't see it. Doesn't quite fit on the whole screen. Rewards. Find the AG. Accept rewards. Right. Make sure you use AG slash adventure guild to head off to make the adventure guilds hub. Oh, so that makes sense. A G. Of course. And now we've got a lovely bar at the top. Talk to Odegus. Okay, so I think I might have actually figured out how to start it now. In theory, so... I said to talk to that villager at spawn. So I'll probably nearly skip the head. Yes, I just skipped right over top of him. 
Talk. Welcome to the Adventures Guild Hub, the hub for all things elite mobs. You can always get back here using slash ag. Talk to me again for a quest. Let's talk to you. Welcome to the ag. Welcome to the ag. Meet the Adventures Guild NPCs. Go talk to Alfred under the main building. Go talk to the main building. Go talk to Ralph under the main building. Okay, let's accept that one there. And let's go talk to all these people. Find the AG. Okay, so we've done that there. So we've completed that one there. Okay, so let's go talk to all these people here. I'm finally figuring out how it sort of works. Okay, so talk to this guy here. These elite monsters where do they keep coming from ah never mind that for now we are always in need of war people to assist us in slaying quests just talk to me to get one okay it's one person down gillian do you seek power do you desire to reach new heights talk to me unlock a new guild ranks and reach levels of power you never thought to be possible seems a bit evil do i need to talk to you Bartley as well. Whoops, don't want to shoot you in the head. Need a stiff drink. My drink's back an extra punch. Lovely. <laughs> okay, so now let's drop down here. See, it's all, all a learning curve. All a learning curve. Is there some more fellas down here? Oh, hello there, Kelly. Got extra elite items? Don't know what you want to do with them? Give them to me, and I'll turn them into extra scrap. You can use scrap to do lots of things, like repairing or upgrading elite items. Perfect, thanks, Kelly. And hello there, Ralph. Get more out of your scrap by upgrading it. Just talk to me at any time. Thanks, Ralph Wilgum. Okay, now I've got old Reggie. Need your elite items repaired? Just bring them to me. Well, bring me some scrap and I'll make them as good as new. Remember, the higher the level of item, level of your scrap, the better I can repair your elite item. Okay, cool. Now we've got, hello, Fireman Sam. Got extra scrap? I can refine that into upgrade orbs, which can give you, which you can give to Tim to upgrade your elite items with. So you must be Tim. Want to upgrade your elite items? Just get an upgrade org from Sam over there. Beautiful. And now we've just got to go talk to Hermes, Greg, Charles, Grog, and Ulthric Stormcloak. So, wonder where they will be hiding. Here we go, we've got Grog. Want to buy some special items? I've just got the thing. Hello, Greg. Want to buy or sell something? I've got lit little of everything. I've got a little of everything, okay. And now we just have to try and find Ulfric. So is he down this way here? No, this is where we just were. Okay, I just remembered where the other two are. I believe they're out the front of the building somewhere. I think I've run past them. Hello there, Hermes. I take you back to where you were before. Just talk to me again. Okay, thank you for letting me know. And now we've got to see Ulfric. Here we go. I remember finally got that lovely Ulfric Stormcloak here. He has finally loaded in. And I'll put up a clip now to show that he actually wasn't here yesterday. No, this is where we just were. There you go, that was me just walking past. And you can see he wasn't here or jumping around before. But yeah, a bit strange that he weren't loaded in. But this is the next day and he is back, which is great. So now we can complete the Welcome to the AG. He is an unbinder. So with that, I'm assuming he can unbind the soulbound items. So I will unbind your items for an ex for an exclusively rare meh. 
I'm the only qualifier to unbind your goods. I will unbind your items for an extremely rare unbind scroll. Oh, lovely. If you bring me a very special and rare item, I can unbind your elite items. You don't yet look prepared to take that challenge on, but you can make killing the binder of worlds your ultimate guy ultimate goal if you dare okay cool so we have now completed talking to that deer okay we're now heading back to the guy Cassus or however you actually say his name and now I've just realized up the top here shows the little man we're going for and previously it showed lots of little dots which is representing all these guys so if you look at a different direction it's telling you which way to turn and then you can see it leads straight over to him. So let's go talk to him. And rewards. Turn in. Yo, you completed the quest. Welcome to the Adventure Guild. Okay, so this one here is recorded just after doing the clip. It's for some reason the audio went all mechanically and weird. So I'm pretty much going, yes, it's finally working. The NPC is loaded in, the lovely Captain Squalls here. And I pretty much go ahead and I just click on him to accept the quest. I do, however, just read what he's saying and do some other bits as well, which is absolutely fantastic that I can't remember what I'm actually doing here. And you're finally awake. Good, we need your help and all those bits and pieces here. God, I can't be bothered reading it at the moment, so I'm being a bit lazy. And so first mate, yep, went ahead and we'll find him in the tower because he hasn't returned yet. Go see the village chief, all my lovely rewards that I get from him. And I pretty much click the accept button. So hopefully the audio is working better and let's hop back into the video. We have attempt two at recording this area here. If it's not recording better this time, we will just I'll just go and do a voiceover so we're going to track and talk to the village chief and the captain squawk just back there said watch out for dangers and those are those lovely little craze bunnies I discovered in that clip that I sped up previously before I did the adventure guild so I'm just going to run past them at least they taste quite nice though but anyway we're going to go through and let's go talk to the lovely village chief so let's just run past these guys and he should be Hiding up there by the looks of it. Okay, we've come into the village and this is obviously working a bit better. As we can see that there is definitely definitely people in that loaded in, which is quite good. There's all these little name tags in that there. You are not from around these parts. Cannot accept the quest yet. Okay, cool. So at least that there seems to be loading. Hello there, Mr. Angry Goat. Here we go. This looks like this will be the chief's thing. I think there's meant to be a chief here. Why is there no chief there? Maybe he's in a different spot. Okay, the leader or the village chief is now back in action. Turns out it was a bit of a bug. So that's why he wasn't here and why his mate wasn't here. So let's go ahead and let's talk to the village leader. You're not from around these parts. Oh, that's lots of read. Oh, so you were in the ship that beached a few hours ago. I oh, apologies, we would have sent help, but I'm afraid we are drowning in our own issues right now. A nearby bandit camp keeps raiding our supplies. A mysterious sea creature keeps haunting our shores, and a wolf den is making our foraging impossible. If you help us out, I will tell you where you might be able to get the supplies you need to repair your ship. Cool, that's good. Can't accept this quest. I should report to the first mate to see if I should help these people. Shipwrecked. Oh, first mate, there we go. Turn in. Yep, let's turn that there and beautiful. Oh, that's a lot of um, obtained spamming through there. Shipwreck sword. Oh, cool. Got got some little. Little bits of gear going through there, all born to the or bound to the body. Okay, cool. Go go talk to Chief of the Village. Accept. Oh, go talk to Chief of Prussics in the village. Accept. 
Fine. Go help the locals. See what info you can gather. And come back as soon as you have something. Okay, let's go to talk to these people through here. Oh, so talk to the chief again. You'll help us? Thanks for... Thank the seas. This was starting to feel like a sinking ship. <laughs> okay, so we get some more elite coins. Beautiful. Everyone in the village has an issue that needs dealing with. And I am no exception. My request is ch quite challenging, so maybe you want to get warmed up and get the lay of the land with some of the issues from other villages. Talk to me when you're ready, and I'll share you the secrets kept by us. To keep us, kept by us, to leaving this valley. Jeez, I'm dreadful at walking. I should talk to the locals and see what who needs help, and come back to the leader when I feel ready to continue. Objective, Ice Mage, Absolute Ring, Oxalot, Oakslot, God, I'm dreadful at reading. Okay, so let's go talk to some of the villagers. Okay, let's talk to this first villager that we came across when we came before. Welcome, outsider. Get fish. Fish bait. We have a big problem. I got wounded by a monstrous sea creature that came from a fishy portal to another realm. My friend is still out on the boat. Try and either to fight the creature or close a portal, but he can't do anything without the right bait. I'll tell you where to get the fish bait. Please go help my friend. I promise you a reward. Accept. There we go. Finally accepted. Okay, now let's go do this here. Whoops, I accidentally hit the wrong button. <laughs> Time is of the essence. There are a bunch of big worms to the right when you leave the village. Get ten and go talk to my friend at the pier. Well, I just managed to get one and realised, oh, I wasn't recording. So it's helpful that seeing the tracking up top there, which clearly shows where everything is. So there should be more of them around here. And those nasty, horrible silverfish. So I wonder if they're going to spawn in. There we go. Ugh. Horrible things. I think my connection's a little bit dodgy here by the looks. Okay, let's just quickly run up. Grab that there. Okay, so we've got that other little bit of fish bait. Let's get out of there. Okay, so now we have to go and find his lovely friend who will be sitting out at the pier somewhere. So over this way. Hello there, friend. How's it going? Let's turn that there in. Beautiful. You brought the bait? Perfect. I'll use it right away. Let's show this creature what us fishermen are made of. Seems like Calidus is about to need my help. Objective killed sea monster. Accept. Okay, so when I gave him the worm bait to come up with saying, let the trick hop into the wormhole. I'll hold the boat, let's show this monster, the wrath of the fisherman. So, and then he gave me this lovely trident here, which doesn't have rip or ripped the returning thing on it. So I probably need to get that. But the monster, or whatever it's meant to be, has not loaded in. So I just went ahead and I checked, and apparently I haven't completed some quests, or this section here is not completed yet. So in the future we're going to have to go ahead and we're going to have to do a few more tasks and hope this one loads in properly. So I found out, well, it's, yeah, if it's not there, it's not there. It's been, I'm not ready to do it yet. So I'm going to call that the end of this little adventure thing here. It would be ideal for me to live stream this here, but my connection is not good enough to do that. So yeah, that's why it's a bit choppy and round this episode. So to end it off today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to hand in our lovely vote keys and see what we get. I think I've got a decent amount there. Okay, to the end of the episode today, we're going to see what we can get. I'm not sure how many vote crates I've got, but we should hopefully have enough. One, two, three, twenty-four. Okay, so I've got 24 vote, cre Kate vote crate keys, and I have managed to get a decent haul looking at that. A voting helmet, that's alright, I've got some of these 
enchanting bits here. Good amount of food, which is always help. Oh, a couple netherite ingots. Some more sponges. Got a good collection of those now. And that is looking quite good. And I think I'd seen I've got a few rare crate keys as well. And mythical crate keys. So I'm not exactly sure what's in the mythical crate one. So let's just... I might just dump all this stuff in here quickly. Okay, let's see what this mythical crate gives us. Left click to view. Left click to view. Oh, some elytras. Decent amount of gear. Looks pretty good. So a next page as well. White scroll, soul tracker. So not exactly sure what those done. Decent amount of money and some more crate keys. Size 2 player vault. Ooh, can fit some more junk in there. Let's see what we can get out of this one here then. Got myself another chest plate. Tank armor too. So I need to figure out exactly what all those mean. But it's probably a lot better than what I have. Do I have another one? Nope, I do not. And legendary. Let's see if we've got anything in there. No legendary. A rare crate. What have we got in here? Some copper ingots. Beautiful. <laughs> another pair of boots. Look a bit better than the ones I have anyway. Anything else? And nope, I don't have any of those there. So that's quite good. Those there should be a bit more protection of what I have anyway. And ooh, some speed and jump boost. Beautiful. And I'm not sure if the spawner ones are actually working now or not. I should find out. The zombie spawner, that actually worked. Let's see if it wants to work again. Sheep spawner. Seems to be working. Blaze spawner. And I'm not exactly sure if these work when you place them down because I knew there were some issues. But I'll leave those there for today. I'll just go chuck those in with all my other bits of junk I have. Oh yeah, I've got some of these here as well. I wonder if they are still valid. Actually, I'll keep that one in there. And let's see if that would want to work. <laughs> No, it doesn't appear that those want to work anymore. They're no longer valid. Oh, well, I might as just chuck those out. So thank you all for watching, everyone. And hope you all enjoyed this lovely random episode. I know it was a bit of a shambles compared to other ones, but still a work in progress. It would be ideal if I could live stream those quests because it would make a bit more sense than what I've been doing anyway. So hope you all enjoyed watching this bit of a show. And next episode, when one comes out, I should be planning on building up a lovely iron farm here. I'm just going to go work on and getting some supplies if I want to land down. A bit of a jumping around there. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.